Hello again, it's been a little while. <laughs> As you can see I'm very hot and I am quite tired out. I had to stop to rest a couple of times on the way in, um, as most of you will probably know from my updates. I haven't been well for the past few weeks um, and this is my first day, night, out for four weeks I think, something like that. So I'm still quite low on energy and uh, so I'm not taking it, you know, too hard. <laughs> Just coming out, setting up a new tent I've not used before, or cook some food, and yeah, just enjoy being out here. Uh, for someone like me, <laughs> being indoors for four odd weeks is it's a nightmare. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Complete cabin fever. But uh, it's good to be back out. Really is. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stop here in this spot. This is a new area of woodland to me, um, so I'm having a bit of an explore. Just been following the uh, stream and having to cross here and there. And uh, there's a few nice openings behind me here. You can see it's quite open, but it's quite brambly back there. But, uh, I reckon I can find something. Lots of uh, deadfall, pretty unmanaged woodland. Um, so it is as it as it lays. So plenty of firewood, but. Uh, I'm going to sit down and have a, a drink, I think. So I've spent a minute looking around. Down there is it's lovely and open but it's just too brambly, they're too long. Now there is some here in this opening but uh, they're not as bad so I think I can kick these back and just go in between these two lovely oaks. No widow makers that I can see. So yeah, just uh, set up in here. A lot of you guys would have seen me use um, the Pomoli tents before, quite the big ones, the big canvas ones, the hot tents. Um, this is like a lightweight version of theirs. I think it's 2.2 torment three kilos, something like that. It's um, pretty lightweight actually. And um, yes, yeah, so it's a lightweight version of them. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. There's no phone signal to check or anything here, so I'll put it on the screen. But this is my first time trying it out. They sent it to me a little while ago, but I've not had a chance yet. And I thought, you know, it's nice and warm now. I <laughs> don't need to be hot tenting. This is a hot tent. It has got a stove jack, but I uh, shan't be using that tonight. <laughs> yeah, so it's a TP with a centre pole like the others. Um, be interesting to see how big it goes, considering how light it is compared to the others.
but I'm more or less there with the setup now. Um, took a little bit of fettling, first time using it. Uh, there are tabs on here, which I guess are for the door, but they could go onto here, but there's nowhere to put them on, which seems weird. As you can see, it's double doored, and you could have a stove this side. You've got the stove jack over here, and it's got the hood that can come off as well for ventilation if you want. You can just flip that over, open it up, which I probably will do tonight, because, you know, it's not going to rain. But, uh, I like it, yeah. It seems quite roomy. The zip just comes down like so, loops round, and you can tie it off on them tie points, and yeah, plenty of room. Well, this is something that might surprise some of you. I've always talked about how much I hate uh, inflatable pillows. And I bought one. It's a Decathlon 4 class one Trek pillow. It's got a soft kind of outer on it, so even like that, you know, it's going to help. But uh, the inside of the case does inflate. So I won't do it all the way, because I do like a lot of give. I thought I'd give it a go. I've seen people use these on YouTube and say they're good. I've never used an expensive one or, or a good quality inflatable pillow, so that may have always been the problem, who knows. But uh, yeah, it's just that lack of give that I don't like in them. But that's the only thing I've brought tonight, so that's what I'm using. <laughs> so we'll see. We shall see. And I've got my probably over the top Fathom EV300 bag, which is good down to Comfort of one degree, but it's probably going to be more like 12 degrees tonight. But obviously, I have been ill, <laughs> so that may come into it. <sighs> yeah, blowing up this mat isn't helping. <laughs> Well, it's already getting into the evening, so I need to get a bit of firewood prepped. Like I said, there's quite a lot down here, which should be pretty dry. So it shouldn't take too long to nab some of that. Especially with the bow saw. And then all I've got to do is cook dinner and chill out for the evening is good because I'm tired.
Cheers everyone. Oh, well I don't know how much I've actually filmed but I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Just coming in, setting this up, setting up the uh, firewood. Found some really nice birch over there, really dry, not rotten at all. Just perfect. <laughs> uh, I've got a fire over here. Get that started soon, but I just needed a beer. I've got a, a Jagged Edge by Brewdog, Spiky India Pal Ale. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice. I've not had a beer in about four weeks. <laughs> so yeah, cheers to you all. You see me sweating. <laughs> it's good to be out though. Really needed just to see the sky. <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be nice. I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. Looking forward to the tent now. I've got it all kind of set up how I want. I've opened up the top a bit as well for airflow. <clears throat> it's looking good. I've got that new pillow to try out. I've got a new fuel hand lantern, a real one. I've always used the uh, fake knockoffs before. And I've got it on the uh, fire anchor thing here, which I'm going to talk about in another video at some point. Use that. But um, yeah, just using it as a uh, little lantern stand. Got some wood wall firelighter with me today. Nice and easy. Well, I don't have too much to actually prep today. It's quite a simple pulled pork recipe. And this is just going to go in some wraps as well, so yeah, nice and simple, which is the idea. I think the bugs are starting to come out, and I've just moved away from the smoke of the fire. <laughs> do have some spray with me. It's because I'm not too far from that stream today. Them papery bits. And I've got me a canvas tent shop Dutch oven. Use that because obviously British company and uh, they're actually pretty good value compared to a lot of the uh, Dutch ovens out there. So yeah, just lined the uh, Dutch oven there with some onions. Have a nice lump of pork shoulder, which I'm just going to sit on top of that. I actually have a bit of butter from earlier, which I may as well dump in. 
I made up a spice rub earlier, which is brown sugar, paprika, chipotle, garlic, onion, cumin, um, I think that's about it, salt, pepper. So I'm just going to dump a load of that in. A little bit more. Got some apple juice. And I've got some ketchup as well. So it's kind of going to make its own barbecue sauce in there as well. be a number two. They're not too strong and they're only little. <laughs> well, pork's on the go, sleep system set up, should have enough firewood now. I did a little bit more before it got too dark, only about half hour of light left now. So yeah, sorted. It's just relaxing and then eating now really. Still pretty hot to be honest. Don't want to really be anywhere near that fire. <laughs> Quite looking forward to trying out this tent. Had it a little while now, and it's you know, it's good to have another lightweight um, hot tent to uh, as another option, especially with the uh, Pomoli fold-out stoves. Can uh, go some distance with a stove and a, a hot tent. So I look forward to that again in the sort of autumn and winter. Get back out doing hot tenting. Mm. These are nice try these again. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> Here we go. It's been a good, oh, I don't even know, two, three hours, whatever. How's it looking? Oh, steamy. Wow. Looks good to me. Oh, look at that. Just pulls apart as it should. And that sauce has kind of reduced down. Oh, it should. Them onions in there as well. Oh, look at that. Excuse the scraping. Yes. That's some nice pulled pork. Got some cabbage here and some tortilla wraps oh god I'm starving really looking forward to this Ooh. some of that and some of this on and a little sour cream oh that looks good here it goes mm. oh that's really good
Mm. Sticky sweet barbecue. Nice and easy. A little bit of prep and then just leave it. I'm so hungry I'm going straight back in with the second one. <laughs> this is good. Some of them onions. Well, I'm in the bug net now, in the inner, which seems fine to be honest. Uh, need to straighten myself and my kit out, but uh, I mean, <laughs> it was getting a bit buggy outside, so it's good to get in here. <sighs> I am still very warm, I don't think I'm going to be using this sleeping bag. But uh, it's been a nice chilled evening, after, you know, a bit of work. <laughs> so I think I'm going to sleep well. It's not even midnight yet, but I'm definitely going to bed now. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It was quite a comfortable night. That um, bug net in there, fine. Didn't dangle at all, really. Yeah. Um, pillow. Mm. <laughs> Still a bit up in the air about the inflatable pillows. I had a micro flea side on top of it, which helped a lot, but uh, still not convinced. But uh, it's good to try these things. <laughs> it's definitely better than any uh, inflatable pillow I've used before. Um, yeah. Like in the setup, to be honest, this it was good to try it out, um, see what works, how to kind of you know actually get it fettled so it actually works properly. Got there in the end, and um, definitely look forward to using it as a hot tent in the uh, winter. Uh, woken up a bit hungry though, so I think I need some breakfast. I uh, think I'll just use the stove rather than make a huge mess with the fire which I can still is still smouldering a little bit but the uh, stream's just over there so I can just dump the wood in the stream yeah I'll get some uh, smaller bits from that lovely birch
Time to get the wood stove out rather than have a whole fire again. That's the other one there again. And should be able to find a flattish spot here. Breakfast time. A little bit of oil. And a little bit of bacon. Nice wrap on the ready, left over from last night. That poor pork was so good last night. <laughs> just flip the egg, just to finish it on top. I'm just going to mash that in a bit, get that yolk spread out. And also have a leftover ketchup. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Can't be bacon and eggs outdoors. <laughs> Not too big a breakfast today for getting me back to the truck. Been a nice camp though. I've really needed it. Really needed it. Blue skies up there. It's a little dark here. There's such a canopy. There's no real big open areas in this part of the woodland, but uh, it's still beautiful. And the sun's coming up now. It was so still last night. Just you could hear a pin drop if there was a pin in the woods. <laughs> Got um, two trips planned for this week. Hopefully they both go ahead. One at the weekend and then uh, one during the week. Um, really looking forward to both of them. So yeah, I'm hoping everything goes well for them. Really get back on track, taking trips again.
May as well stack up some of this firewood just in case I return to this spot. Although it's a little bit buggy here. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, not the most interesting camp ever, but I had to kind of check out my fitness and health level before doing anything a bit more strenuous. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it anyway, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.